Oh boy. This is getting crazy, y'all. Look at that. There's a bunch of pigeons over there. Wow. Look at that. Well, that's the next door roof. And uh, they just use this whole area. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, if you're new to the pigeon trapping videos, subscribe because this will be our second, yeah, second video here checking uh, these traps on the Kansas Cosmos Fair. A lot of y'all know that I've already been here for the last few videos. We got a trap up here we got to check yet. It'll be our first time checking that trap. And like I said, yeah, we're at the Kansas Cosmos Fair, y'all. And then over here, we got a trap up there. Two traps. I'm gonna see how, what kind of luck we got in them. But when I opened this hatch door, by the way, I forgot my rope and carabiner, and that is a 20 foot ladder. Straight up, it's no joke, but when I opened the hatch, there were every bit of probably 20 to 30 pigeons right here. Y'all gonna drop a comment down below. Is that a lot of poop up there? Is there a lot of poop? I can't see it. Let me know. Because if so, that's been the second time I scared a lot of birds right here. We might need a third trap to go right here somewhere. Depending on how many we have in the trap so far. Guys, I want to say thank you for uh, all you guys that have listened to my wishes. <laughs> in the last few videos, I've asked you guys to get every video over 2,000 likes or at least 2,000 likes. And you guys have been coming through. Thank you. Thank you. It feels good to be listened to and it feels good to have you guys' support. Uh, we're heading to North Dakota. I just want to let you know, and for you guys in literally a few days when you're finally watching this video, but for me in about six days, it is honker hunting time, y'all. Let's get up there. I'm telling you what, if I trap too many of these birds here today, it's going to be a wonder how the heck I'm going to get down them stairs with them all. Nice thing about this, these ladders are kind of slanted, so I only really need one hand. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got a single. There we go. Plenty of food. He needs some water. A single in that trap. I figured we would have had more, but that's the new trap. Not bad for a day. I wonder if we ought to leave him. I'm going to refill his water. I'm going to leave the camera down here so I can have my hands free. Then we'll go over to the big trap and check in. Well, we're up on the next roof and I have something really awesome to show y'all. Look at how you get on and off of this thing. I do not like this situation. I hate getting on and off of these ladders. It really makes me want to take them off. It's so sketchy in fact. I'm not good with heights, it's sketchy. That one's not near as bad because as you can see, it's almost half his height. But this one is just... Uh, you gotta go in around and, you know, be, you know, it... Okay, I'm exaggerating. It doesn't flex that much. I'm making it sketchy. Check this out. We might need three traps because this thing is plumb loaded. Oh my goodness. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen or fourteen. That is the most I have ever trapped at one in one go. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh, one just got out. Dang, peace, brother. He just got out the door. Dang! He gone! Go. Well, I'm gonna get these birds loaded up. Oh my gosh. Now it's definitely 13 instead of 14. Wow. Y'all gotta smash that thumbs up button. Come on. Woo! Literally with that, the, the, <laughs> the loft is already full again. I gotta get rid of them all already again. Wow. Oh no, that's how they're getting out. One more just got out. That was open. What 
the heck? I didn't see that. Way to go, Bob. So before we get to unloading the birds here, I moved the cage. Look at all the activity just all around the cage, all the bird poop. They are certainly using the trail I made them to come off of this ledge. On second thought, I probably ought, probably shouldn't move this trap. This, like I said, this is the only sketchy thing about it. But boy, does this one produce. All right, let's load them up. What all do we got? For some reason, I left the doors open last time and allowed two to escape from here. Little older bird, blue bar with a little auburn color in him. Pretty cool looking bird. I'm gonna have to hurry so we can get downstairs and get these birds out of this bucket. So no messing around. Really juvenile bird, extremely juvenile, young blue check. Yeah, he's a squeaker. Keep it rolling. Another blue check. Uh, again, pretty darn young bird, a hair older than the last one, no bands. Boy, we've been putting a hurting on the pigeons. Really, really young bird, no bands, blue bar. And then this bird here looks pretty old. Uh, not really old. Good looking blue bar, not a lot of bar on it. That's why it looks so cool. Got that light blue everywhere. Then this blue check, extremely young bird. Yeah. Have yet to trap a band or anything. Like a legit homer. That's what I'm really waiting on. That'd be really cool. Blue check, little older bird. Okay, now on this side, first bird. Little older, still pretty young. Blue bar, nothing special yet. As far as today goes. Oh, it is hot. I'm gonna have to get these guys out of this bucket. Really young, well, youngish blue bar. Any bands? No. Like I said, I am gonna leave. Let's leave this guy. He's an older bird. He's a good confidence bird to leave in here as a bait bird. Look how old he is. Really nice old blue bar. No band. We're gonna keep him on this side by himself. There we go. Sorry. And then we'll get these guys out of here. Woo! It is hot. Just counted as I put them in the transportation cage. We have 11 in the cage. So, and we left three, three, wait, we, more than that. 17 total. 11, 12, 13, two that got away. 14, 15, 16, 17. We left four up on the roof total. Three in the big one and one pigeon in the small one. That's the most I've ever trapped in one day and we still have to go to the other spot crazy this was a good call getting both uh traps up here i thank you all for the recommendations Whew. we're at the next spot and i just have a good feeling i just have a good feeling why you might ask i don't know probably because we just trapped 17 birds on one set i think we're gonna have a band in here i know call me crazy maybe i am what do we got? One, one, and I honestly, I think on the last video, which was just a couple days ago, yeah, I left this one in here. You've been in here all by your lonesome. Let me just make sure, make sure I'm not crazy. It might be a special bird, who knows? Definitely not a special bird, just an old one. Older blue bar, check him out. I don't think I left him in there. I'm trying to remember, did I leave a bait bird in here? I don't believe so. Look, he's gonna smack me. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, it looks like he has an attitude problem. We're gonna put him back in there. There you go, bud. You'll have the whole room to yourself. How about that? And we're gonna refill your water. As far as rainwater goes, I can guarantee you. Yeah. It's been dry lately. We're back, back, back at it. We are back at it. Let me get it out so you can hear me. There we go. Sweet. Look at that. Man, we're up here. Beautiful morning. Decided to get started a hair earlier today before it got really, really hot. Before we see what's in there. Look at that. Ooh, that's a good amount of water. 
we had a decent rain and that's gonna probably fill up our water container halfway there we go two birds and uh-huh I only left the one in here he's new really dark bird let's look at him uh, not too old no bands just a normal black chick good looking though but as far as the water situation as long as I don't spill any there we go I got us almost halfway not too bad for free water Whoa. well we are up here just like the last time came up tons of them got off of this vent and that vent depending on what we have today i'm either one of two options one of two options if this one hasn't produced much we'll pull it and put it down here if that one hasn't produced much which i'm sure it has that one it's a love-hate relationship with this trap up here because it's difficult now luckily today i brought my rope and carabiner boy howdy i guarantee you i will not ever forget that again because trying to get the bucket up those stairs those stairs and those stairs like i said last time it's like it usually takes an hour i'm usually here for an hour just checking and rebating these two traps let's get up there and see if we got anything on the low one we'll start out easy you know now we left one bait bird in here oh we got a bunch one two three four five five or six yeah yeah see and that that makes me not want to move a trap at all you know what i mean sheesh look at this flock these are all the birds that got up when i came up the door all right first bird out i just lost one this hatch was open that's the third third bird i've lost that's an older-ish bird not bad uh blue bar a lot of normal ones we got one special one in this cage it looks like let me let me get him next this guy here look at him a lot of black birds check that out good looking heck yeah well almost to the top of the ladder uh the second one oh my gosh what in the actual we got a ton in there hold on y'all let me put the camera down and get situated oh my goodness boy boy Whew. well had to go empty the bucket all the way down before we look in here before we look in there there's so many right there old fred's in my truck down there uh-huh you see it i had to go all the way down get rid of the five birds from the other trap because our bucket just wouldn't have had enough room oh boy this is getting crazy y'all look at that goodness one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen more my little loft is completely crammed full now well let's see if we got any special ones in here we got first any special ones not really that I'm seeing this guy here he has he's older a lot of older birds in this one got some red on his wings some auburn now we're gonna have to hurry I got the bucket so I'm not gonna waste any time here guys if I see a special bird I will show you but I'm gonna have to hurry and get these birds all loaded up all right man on this side this side we got a lot more mature birds. I've been pulling out nothing but adults on this left side of the trap. Like I said, I really have to hurry because it is hot out here. I'm gonna leave uh, two bait birds in there. Again, all the adult birds on this left side. I don't know why. It was like all young birds on the right and all adult birds on the left. That's a younger bird. No bands though. I figured we'd be 
by now at the Cosmos Fair, we would have some special ones. Look at this guy, this is our special bird, if any, today. Look at him, he's got nice big white flights on him. Adult bird, he's cool, black check. Uh, we'll take him home. But like I said, leaving two bait birds, one on each side, be good to go. Let's get these guys home and out of this bucket. Absolutely unreal. Crazy day. Crazy past two days. In two days we've trapped. I'm gonna have to add it up. That was 15 plus 30, 33, 38 birds. Pretty much right at 38 birds. That's unreal. Guys, I know I've asked you already, but if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, please do. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes. I would greatly appreciate it. And just to mention, for me, it's Monday right now. Friday, early, early morning, I'm leaving for uh, North Dakota going honker hunting. I hope y'all are ready. What are you doing? Woo. I'm sick of it. I'm over it. I'm over it. No more summertime. Gosh, and what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four days, man. Four days I'll be in North Dakota. And hopefully it's cooler up there. But here we are. They're probably going to freak out. They're just not getting situated. Uh, I got to get a hold of my buddy and see if he wants some more pigeons because the loft is full. They got pretty situated now. Check it out. We're full. The little loft is just jam-packed. Right now, right now we got over 30. Uh, I tried counting them. I'll recount here. One, two, three, four, five. Four, thirty-five. Right on the money. That's amazing. What's crazy about it is not even, what, five days ago? Not even five days ago, it was empty. Ha! The Cosmos Fair is providing, y'all. It's unbelievable. I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, because for one reason, I've been sweating my butt off nonstop. The second reason we trapped some birds and a lot of them on the new museum yes the museum was a good call and i want to say thank you all again for recommending that i take down the truck stop trap and move it to the cosmosphere good call really good call but as you can see me and mama we've been doing some cleaning here at the lodge and boy is it nice in here i got the ac turned down to 70 degrees in here it's beautiful. Me and Mama, we've been working on the lodge and getting her all ready to go. Just pre-ready, you know what I mean? In the summer, I'm gonna get busy hunting here. Like I said, North Dakota. We're doing North Dakota, we're doing South Dakota, we're doing Alaska. A lot of big trips, a lot of waterfowl hunting to come. So I just wanna get a leg up on the lodge, get it, uh, as you can see, we've been really scrubbing the floors been dusting, doing a lot of things. Now, mind you, a uh, little update on the lodge, still waiting for the contractors to uh, come start on it. Um, we're putting a door and a bunch of other windows and stuff. So things have been busy with contractors this season. I'm glad I got all this done last year because if I wouldn't have, it would have been a pain in the you know what, trying to get all this done last year, or sorry, this year. If I would have tried to do all this this year, I don't think it would have happened. So. Knock on wood, I'm glad we got it done before this year, man. But subscribe if you haven't guys. I'm gonna cool off, drink me some water. Stay cool out there. We got dove hunting coming. Y'all gotta get ready. Get the decoys out. Make sure your mojos are charged or got new batteries in them. Come on y'all. The season's here. This is uh, Bobby Guy Films prime time. I hope y'all are uh, back from last season. A lot of guys don't stick around throughout the summer with the pigeon videos. Also, I was thinking with the pigeon videos that probably ought to enjoy them while we can because once season, because once the hunting season really starts ramping up, I will probably take a lot of the pigeon traps down. I usually don't run them during the winter. For one, I don't like being on the roofs during the winter. For two, the Cosmosphere, I'm not gonna run that trap during the winter time. The reason why is it gets icy, it gets cold, 
those ladders are sketchy and I'm not willing to be out here risking my life on a sketchy icy ladder to make a video of pigeon trapping. Just not gonna do it. So we'll probably pull it in September sometime when we get really busy. So hope you guys are enjoying them while they're here, but the videos are getting ready to get even better. Uh, the latest, what, five videos have really been popping off and you guys have been enjoying them. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, this is the time of year that I really start lighting up and we see the views start coming back and everybody starts getting ready for hunting season. And I'm glad I'm in the position I am. I'm glad that I'm here to provide these videos for y'all and give you some entertainment and some content to watch. So thank you for being here, guys. But like always, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when your boy uploads. But until next time. We got a big group on the way. Big hey group on the way. Hey boys. No way. Man. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. Right, guys, we got a band, boys. Oh, here we go, boys.